Hello everyone, I thought I'd give you an update on uh, the surveyor's visit and uh, basically he came in, looked at the kitchen and all they're going to do is replace the kitchen unit, that corner unit um, and fix the wall. Even though the kitchen is down for a replacement and uh, I don't know when this is going to be, it could be six months next year, whatever, but I'll be a bit annoyed after they replace the kitchen sink corner unit, replace that and then uh, not long afterwards I'll have to go through all this scenario again. There's just no coordination with them. Um, regarding the bedroom, uh, they basically want me to take out all the bedroom furniture, uh, take up the laminate flooring and then they'll come along, latex the floor, bugger off and then I'm left to recover the floor again and then put all the furniture back in. There's no help to do this from the housing and uh, I, I, again I, I'm really annoyed over this because it's only a couple of years old and uh, I don't know when they're going to do these repairs and the bare floor it is a mess. Uh, some of the bitumen has worn off and it's quite smelly from the previous tenant. That's why I laminated it. Um, and I told them I'm not going to do it. No chance. I've done it once. That should have lasted years. When it comes to the floor in the hall, uh, again, they're going to rip up all the plastic tiles, the tiles underneath that, latex it, and um, leave me to recover it again. Well, the carpet got ruined, it ended up in the bin. Um, and as I say, there's been no date at all when these jobs are going to start. Basically, it was wanting to put in an official complaint about the lack of response, coordination, etc. regarding the flood and um, the surveyor hadn't been out. Got the reply on the 19th of July, a um, couple of hours after Jeff had visited. And this is the email. Thank you kindly for your email. I am sorry to hear you have not had any response from the team yet. However, a survey request can take up to 28 working days, not including weekends, to be processed due to high demand in the surveying team. As this was initially raised on the 26th of the 6th, 23, the team has until the 3rd of August to contact you for an appointment with the surveyor for your area to assess the flood. As this is still within the time frame for a surveyor to attend, we cannot raise a complaint at this stage because there has not been a service failure yet. However, if the flood damage includes damp and mold, I would strongly advise you to email the surveyors directly at such an email. For a quicker response within five working days, as we take damp and mold very serious and have a dedicated team who deals with the damp and the mold queries. 
So you, you see what's happened there. Basically, they moved the goal post um, from a 10 day wait for the surveyor to the 28th, which made my complaint invalid. How sneaky is that? And these are the kind of the tricks they play and I've had to put up with. And if you look at the picture, you can see this damp and mould there. And today's date is the 28th. And the humidity in the kitchen is 97. And last night in the bedroom, it was similar. Um, It's mental. So anyway, what I've done with the help of my mate Tony, cheers Tony, uh, I've done another letter of complaint. And after this one, then I'll take it to either the Ombudsman or Shelter or both and take it further because I'm not having it. This is, as far as I'm concerned, is their responsibility and they know that this floor lam laminating flooring is n not that old. So anyway, uh, th that's it. That's all I can say at the moment. I'm just plodding on, trying to keep busy and not let any of this rot in my cage. Um, I've been around this circuit three times now regarding this property with the housing so it shouldn't surprise me how they behave. So thank you very much everyone for your support. Love the comments. Take it easy. Ciao for now.